Ah, uh, well, welcome to this Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com where today we're going to look at the magnifying glass tool and before you shut it off, this is actually a pretty cool tool. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it and a lot of maybe underrated, underutilized stuff that you haven't known about. And as uh, as we have learned, we have a sponsor, WP Engine. These tutorials are sponsored by WP Engine. They've got great hosting plans for WordPress. It's super fast. I've hosted tutvid.com on WP Engine for several years now. Go to tutvid.com slash WP hyphen engine. The link is in the description of the video. Use the coupon code SPEEDUP for 20% off your first order. So, the magnifying glass tool. Well, I guess the first thing I should just mention is you can double click the magnifying glass and boom, it's going to bring any image that you have open right to 100%. You can see down here we have 100%. And actually, a quick uh, side tip, you can manually punch in a percentage that you would like to zoom to, like 50, and hit enter, and it zooms you to 50% just right down there in that bottom corner of your document. We also have something called a scrubby zoom, which is checked on. Scrubby zoom is newer to some of the newer versions of Photoshop. I can't remember exactly when it came in, maybe CS6 or something. Basically, when you pull down, it zooms in. When you push up, it zooms out, or I should say left and right. When you go left, it zooms out. Go right, it zooms in. That's the scrubby, scrubby zoom. If I turn it off, I don't get anything. I get a selection, and it's going to zoom in right over the area that I select, giving me uh, a, a zoomed-in selection just of that sort of little pseudo-selection that I create. Um, we can also zoom multiple windows. So if I go like window arrange for up um, and I tick on zoom all windows, I'm going to put scrubby zoom on and I'm going to zoom in here. You're going to see it's going to zoom all of my images. Now it, it zooms them all to the same percentage, 86.98, 86.98, 86.98 and so on and so forth. All right. So it's going to just kind of zoom everything along the same percentage. You can see all the images are different sizes, so they all are going to appear differently depending on the percentage to which they are zoomed. That's actually kind of cool, though. Uh, let's get back to just uh, consolidating all of these images into tabs. And one last thing, when you're working with the zoom tool, you have an option to go 100% with the zoom, fit it to the screen, or just fill any open area of your Photoshop screen with imagery, no matter what size that would be. In this case, it's 86.87. Those are all great features to have. Um, Command-1 zooms you to 100%. Command-0 fits an image to the screen. So those are a couple of little useful hotkeys. And also, I should say, if you hold down the Alter Option key, you flip your magnifying glass from being a plus or a zoom a magnifier to a zoom out magnification or you know getting away from your image it's not really magnifying it's doing the opposite of magnifying so for the magnifying glass in Photoshop it's a great little tool it's a great little feature it's a must-have tool in Photoshop but for this tool in Photoshop that's it get it got it good Nathaniel Dodson tutvid.com I'll catch you in the next one